packing now. Five, yes. four, three, two, one. Official top. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lots of packing from Tetsuo. Yes, lots of packing. Yeah. Building on a good run of form after his red card at the beginning of the competition. He's dialed it back and now he's back to business. Yes, and we saw his last dive was a successful dive. 95, right? Or 96? Yes. 95, uh, I 95. I think 95 and yeah, received yeah. a white card for that. So he's made a conservative two meter jump today. Which I think yes. is a, a good approach. So he just started his free fall at about 35 meters. Very, very relaxed looking. You can just see how he's flowing so nicely through the water column. 50 mm. meters. Yeah, he's good rate as well. Yeah, you can see that. He had a nice that. acceleration through that buoyancy zone, didn't he? Got him catapulted into meters. his free fall. <laughs> One minute. Yeah, Slingshot. Good. Yeah, going pretty fast. So the only thing that you really have to worry about when you go at such a rapid speed, especially with monofin, it's very easy, is just to keep up with your equalization. Um, a lot of times when you're learning to free dive, your equalizing comes a little bit slow, or the amount of times you can do an equalization comes a little bit slow. But at there this he level, he's at the plate. Nice awesome. steady turn. Yeah, it's a good point you make. You can fall behind on the EQ, and then that can really upset the dive, create a lot of tension. It looks nice. Good fluid, fluid form. Beautiful undulation from the hips, really working that lower body and then trying to keep that upper body as, as straight with little movement as possible. Choosing to keep the tag in his hand as well. Two minutes ten. Yeah, and nice. Good. You can see just a little bit of a contraction there. I think you saw his cheeks kind of puffer in, pucker in. Forty meters. I think my contractions would start the way down at this point in the competition. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how uh, he's doing it. I think so too. Yeah. Minor toes starting. on him. 30 meters. Yeah, you too, you, uh, you reckon? Mm -hmm. Second safety. Good, yeah, so the safety is looking right in the eyes of the athletes. Meters. Watching out for any first signs of hypoxia. Mm -hmm. He's managed to keep his form very good. He He's has. just looking a little fatigued now, isn't he? He's slowing down, starting a cycle kick. But he's in the last 10 meters, so yes. let's see. Let's go, Tetsuo. Oh my wow. god, that was solid. Okay. Amazing. <sighs> nice high grab. Goggles straight off. Yeah. Nose clip <laughs> off. Has the tag for the judges. Good hook breaths. Yeah, he nailed that, didn't he? Yes, he did. Getting that facial equipment off as fast as possible is yeah. very, very helpful. Uh, congratulations, Tatsuo. Fantastic dive for him to end yes. the competition there. He'll be very happy with that. Yes. Congratulations to your white card. Wonderful, wonderful way for him to close off this competition. Yeah. All right, it's looking good. Yes. Looking good. Yellow, red, the yellow, white. We like that. We do, yes. Hopefully it continues with that white lucky streak. Yeah, lovely form. He was quick. He was quick down, but it, it worked out for him. A lot of times the divers 
will have uh, some kind of an alarm, a depth alarm, to let them know that they're approaching the candy cane. And then they can begin their sort of grabbing protocol, if you will, for the tag. So it's not just a big surprise, but sometimes you see them sail right past it and into the into the plate if they're nice and relaxed.